All right, guys, it's Saturday. I'm in Matty Eye Studios. I have Young Kano in the studio right now. First off, shout out uh, Q to Plug um, for making this interview happen. We've been talking back and forth. Uh, he, he had a lot of great things to say about you, bro. So I was like, let's bring him in, bro. Let's see what he got. Um, yeah. You're going to perform later some music. I don't know if it's unreleased or if it's stuff that's out. Um, it's unreleased. Okay, so that's even better. Uh, drop it on the show. At least get some uh, yeah. people some music, bro. Um, but Young Kano, first of all, where are you from, dog? Springfield, Massachusetts. And apologies for my voice. You performing but, last night or what? What happened? Were you performing last night in the nah, studio going crazy? Lost it on the way out here. Okay. <laughs> How'd you lose it, bro? I don't even know. I felt that shit going on the way to because I had a, like a two and a half hour drive to the airport. So I felt that shit leaving. Once I fell asleep on the plane, I woke up, my shit was gone. <laughs> Normally when artists are losing their voice and stuff like that, though, it means that you've been putting that work in the studio nah, the past yeah, couple sure. weeks. I'm always working. Right. So that's a sign. That's a good sign then. Uh, we'll uh, take yeah. it, bro. Luckily, there's not a show tonight that you got or something like that. Nah, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we got this podcast, bro, but uh, we're going to get through it, bro. Um, all right. So you're from Massachusetts. Is that where you're staying right now? Yeah. Because you're still in Massachusetts. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. What um, What's the scene like out there right now? There's a lot of niggas working out there. It's just there's not many people that come out of um, Massachusetts, so I feel like not enough people get the attention that they need. So there's a lot like there's a lot there's a lot of shit going on out there. I've been working for the for a couple years, but I just feel like since not a lot of rappers or not a lot not a lot of musicians come out of there, there's not really much attention going on out there. How far is Harvard from where you're at? Harvard? It's like uh, Boston. How far is that from where you're at? Like an hour and a half. Hour and a half drive. Yeah. Springfield is, like, close to, like, the border of Connecticut. Okay. My uncle actually lives up in Boston, bro. I've still never been up that way. I need to, though. Massachusetts at all? I've never been there, no. Massachusetts at all. Yeah. It's pretty dope. I've never been there at all, bro. Um, I've seen the movie The Town, though, and that makes me want to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite movies, bro. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even seen it. So what's the music scene like there, though, bro? Are, is there a lot of shows that are going on and stuff like that? Um, there's, It's actually starting to happen. It's a lot of, like, little shows people been throwing. It's, like, in little, like, buildings and stuff, mainly for artists to come support other artists. Okay. Yeah. I see the chain, bro. Um, It's R.I.P. I'm trying to read the name. Yeah, Julian, my older brother. Julian. Yeah. So, first of all, super dope chain. Great, Appreciate great more of a role. When did, uh, when did Julian pass? Um, last year, 20, um, June 20th. 2020. And that's your blood brother? Yeah. Okay, bro. If you don't want me asking, what happened? Uh, he just never woke up. I feel you, bro. Yeah. He was a big inspiration, though. He the one that helped me. Like, he was pushing me while he was alive. He was pushing me to, like, get on this music shit. Older brother, younger brother? Older. Okay. He's my oldest, yeah. I got two brothers. So that's somebody you grew up with, you, you know, you were raised with, bro. Yeah. You look up to him and stuff. So now, though, it's crazy. I just had an interview before this similar situation. Um, do you feel like now your music what you're writing, even how you're moving, um, is dedicated to him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of growth. It sucks, too, that he can't like, he can't see where I came, like, how far I come. So before he passed, where were you at, and, like, where, what, what has changed in the meantime? I was still trying to find my sound. Or, like, I'm still, I'm still, like, practicing other shit, see what I'm able to do, see what I can do, what I should stay away from. But as far as, like, the quality of music I've been coming out with, he never got the chance to hear it so i feel like you know i built my whole studio so i'm the quality is crazy like before i was recording in the basement you know just showing him a little shit that i put together but how long you been rapping for i've been rapping for like the past like five six years taking it seriously no uh, taking it serious like the past like three years two years how old are you now i'm 21 Oh shit, you're young as fuck. Okay, yeah. now I understand. Okay. <laughs> you're young, you're one of the youngest people I had in the studio. Yeah. So you're 21, but you've been rapping for about five, six years. Yeah. Seriously, though, since you're about 18, 19. Yeah. All right, bro, well, you got a hell of a career ahead of you then, bro. Because um, you can you can really develop your sound, and you got plenty of time, and time is the most valuable thing in life, I feel like. Yes. Um, and you got time on your side, which no one can buy. You feel me? Uh, no one can buy time. So you got that on your side, bro. It seems like you got the right people. You got Q. You got the right people in your ear and stuff like that. Um, so that will help you as well. Um, where do you see yourself maybe in the next four or five years in music? In a better place than I am now. So I, I keep going up. Like, I actually, I dropped a single, Toxic Love. That's just actually doing numbers. Right now it's doing more than 300,000 streams. Spotify? Um, throughout all platforms. Okay. Yeah. It's called Toxic Love? Toxic Love, Straight yeah. just you? Um, nah, it's me and a uh, feature. I have a girl singing the hook, Cristal. Okay. Yeah. Do you got a main producer you're locked in with or that you're working with? Um, Tyler Gifted. Out of Massachusetts? Yeah. He got his own studio out there? 
Um, we had like the studio I got, I hired him. Like I built the studio and I hired him to run my studio. So is it a studio out of your crib or a real like? Nah, I it? actually got a spot. Yeah, in um, 24 Elm Street, Westfield, Mass. Okay, so it's, what's the studio called? Um, Rare Studio Production. Red Studio Productions? Rare. Rare Studio. R V R E. Yeah. Okay, facts. Now, are other artists and producers able to go there and rent it out too? Um, not rent it out, but they could book. They could book Sessions. my engineer, yeah, to and utilize your space and your yeah. Equipment. So what's that like for you opening up your own studio too? Cause that you know I opened up one here and I you know I know what it takes, bro. But I was spending mad bread just booking sessions. So in my head, and and I also used to like I used to record myself. I used to edit myself. So I also know a thing or two about it. So I just built it because it benefited me and I could also have income out of it. For so, sure, yeah. smarter smarter to pay your own pockets than somebody else's. I guess, yeah. right? So it makes me think that you really are taking this really seriously, bro. You're going out there, you're, so. you're starting your own studio, you didn't build it out of your house, bro. You know, this is for you, which I can only imagine is because you're booking way too many studio it sessions. It started at my crib. I was recording niggas on my crib too. And it's okay if you even got a little mini studio at the crib, but yeah. to get out of your crib and really be somewhere else, dialed in on music is really what I think is important. Um, because you can be at your house all day, but then there's distractions at the crib too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're at the studio, you're there to, to make music, bro. Yeah, even I'll though I'm, I'm sure I be dolo, me and my engineer, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't even like going with a lot of people. For sure, I just like bro. to lock in. Do you got any uh, features, or have you worked with any artists, you know, maybe a little bit more well-known? Well-known? Um, and I'm going to say, like, on a national level, even, because I'm sure you know people in Massachusetts that I have no idea who they are. Yeah. Um, nah. Okay. What Not about this. Massachusetts? Um, I worked with a couple people. Who's hot out there? Um, Besides you. <laughs> Who is hot out there? Like, I, I, I mean, like, I, I haven't heard a lot of artists like, out of Massachusetts, <clears throat> bro. That's why I'm asking, bro. I can name yeah. some if I knew some, bro. I mean, I, I know a couple rappers. I give them their flowers. Um, right now, that they doing their thing. I heard Reek. Reek Lauren. Okay. Um, Lazy the Chemist. He been doing his thing out there. For sure. I give him his flowers. For sure. Have you performed any shows out there recently? Uh, me? Yeah. Nah. I haven't done anything out there, to be honest. You never done a show out there? Nah. Have you done shows out of Massachusetts? I haven't really done shows, nah. Is that something you want to do? So yeah, hell yeah. Okay. So what is it going to take for you to get uh, on the stage, then? I'll get on the stage tomorrow if they let me. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm, just, I'm waiting for the right opportunity. Okay, I feel yeah. that, bro. Um, what was your first tape that you dropped? Or do you even have a tape out yet? Uh, my first tape that I ever dropped? I mean, I deleted it, but if you want, like, the first... SoundCloud stuff? Yeah, it was probably like, damn, what was that shit called? Um, damn, probably like late night phone calls. I don't know, something like that. But I have an album out on Apple Music. It was one of my first albums I ever dropped. It's called Lost Motions. Lost Motions? Yeah. Okay. And then after that, I just been dropping singles like Much Bigger, Toxic Love, Decisions, You're Lost. Those are like the last four tracks I dropped. All music videos available on all platforms. What was the EP called again or the project called again? Um, the the, the first album, yeah. um, Lost Motions. Lost Motions. And that, you dropped that one? Um, 2018, probably. And 2019. That was, that was the last, like, real put-together project yeah. that you put on platforms. Yeah. So this next one's really going to be, people are going to really gravitate towards it. Yeah. What sure. can we expect from it, and when are we going to get something from you, bro? Um, on all platforms. I'm talking Tidal, iTunes, Spotify. Yeah, I could expect it real soon. Probably, like, next month or two. I'm hoping. Maybe I got the I got the songs ready. I'm just trying to put them all together and find the right time to drop it and have the promotion ready, everything ready behind it. So have any labels, I mean, been in your ear at all or anything like that? Mm, nah, I mean, that I know of, nah. I mean, I spoke to a couple A&Rs, you know, I don't know if they, but I'm pretty sure, like, you know, they had a couple connections, but as far as, like, getting to the label, nah, but I've been working with him. He's been He's been getting me right, Q. So, you know, I know Q because, first of all, I did some of the media at the Boosie Bash. I got to link with a lot of the artists there. Obviously, link with Q, bro. Great person. Great He's guy. the most legit as of right now. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Great person. Great guy, bro. Um, would would you be interested to maybe work with that side of the crew? Because I know, I know he fucks with Boosie Heavy and, uh, you know, the badass team. Is that somewhere maybe you're looking at? I'm open for anything, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever will fit me, I'm open for it. For sure. <laughs> What do you feel like guys like Boosie, what do, what do you think they mean to the scene? What do they mean? Yeah, what do they mean to the scene, the industry, um, hip-hop in general, rap in general, bro, Boosie in general? Because he has the utmost respect from, like, first of all, you know, I was just at the Boosie bash, and there was a hurricane. Hurricane Ida was there. It was insane. They canceled all the flights. But one thing that I really took notice to was Little Baby. 
he did that show completely for free. He didn't. He even flew there. He didn't even ask Boosie for a dime, bro. And that was in the middle of a hurricane. I'm like, man, that's a little baby. He's the biggest name in the game right now. And he's showing all that love. He got on a private plane, performed, got back on a private plane to do another show in Houston right after that, and wouldn't take a dollar from him, bro. And he charging 400 racks a show. You feel that's me? crazy. So I, that's why I want to ask you, like, you know, coming up, what do you think about Boosie and, and how he's conducted his career? I just feel like I don't know. he he made a big impact. I mean, he what I fuck what I fuck with with Boozy is he's not like he's not scared to be open about anything. Whether you know the backlash might be big or whatever, he's open to everything. He'll speak his mind. He'll like you know like I, I he's agree. a free thinker, bro. Yeah, like I agree with ninety percent of the shit I do too. he be saying. Like, I do you know too. what I'm saying? <laughs> I do but too. But I be getting tight when like they be like trying to put him in the back or trying to like cancel him or some they shit. Have, for they had Instagram, you know, he has to keep getting new handles, bro. And yeah. It's fucking annoying, bro. Let let him have his platform, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got, like, terrorists that have their platform and <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Let him, let Boosie have his platform. Let him yeah, make some bread, yeah. bro. You know Maybe what I mean? He's having fun. <laughs> yeah, he's having fun, bro. And the thing is, like, like you just said, a lot of this shit we agree with, too. Uh, I don't think he has any hate in his heart, bro. I just think if you're gonna if you're going to address him... He gonna answer it, and you're like not like the answer you're gonna get. Just don't address him, though. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with him like that. Uh, that's just what it is. Um, but that's dope, bro. Okay, so we're gonna get maybe a project from you this year, but it could be the beginning of next yeah, year. Yeah, for sure. Music videos are dropping, bro. Yeah. Um, if you could work with a specific artist, who would you want to work with? In the industry? Yeah, like if you can maybe put on a mixtape with an artist, you know, like how Drake and Future have had their tapes, or, or 21 and Metro with a producer. Who would you want to do a tape with, or who would you want to work with? A dream project. There's a whole one. I mean, <laughs> I name. I mean, like the top names are probably Lil Dirk, Lil Baby. They top okay. names. Like, sure. I, that's all I listen to. Type shit. They, they the one that been dropping back to back. So it's like Dirk's been on a run like no other. This yeah, past, this nah, past he been spazzing. Bro, the past two years with his albums, The Voice, and then he dropped one right before that, and then he's dropping Seven Two Two Zero this year. Yeah, we're gonna get that in the next few weeks. Then King Von's dropping an album this year, too. Yeah, I heard that, too. It's going to be hard. I actually heard the intro off Von's album. And yeah. it's, it's insane. Spaz. He spazzed. He went absolutely insane. So uh, I'm looking forward to those projects, obviously, bro. Uh, Boosie's dropping some new projects I heard, too, so those will be dope. Oh, all right, bro. Where can everybody find you on the web right now? Where can they find your music? Where can they follow you? All the platforms, bro. Well, all my music under Young Con on Instagram, YCVNO. Um, Facebook, Young Kano, everything under Young Kano, you'll find me. Everything under Young Kano, yeah. bro. I could even be Google. <laughs> now, if an artist wants to hit you, you know, they might want to work with you. They can see the talent. Um, cause if I was an artist, I'd be, like, checking out other artists, you know, before they blow, blow, blow. Yeah. Um, because, shit, I want to have a feature with them. I want to work with them, bro. How how can an artist work with you right now? Um, if they want to even get a feature from you or if they want to hit your studio, how can they work directly with you? You want to DM you? Yeah, yeah just, you could DM me on Instagram, YCVN, or email me, Young Kano Booking, Y-U-N-G. C-A-N-O Booking at gmail.com And hey If you're a promoter And you want to get The first show It's right here You know uh, what I'm yeah. saying It's right here You know what I mean I'm Make open to everything Legendary <laughs> Legendary bro um, The first one's always The, the green light bro. That's the legendary one bro uh, yeah. We're gonna have you Perform today bro It's gonna be an Unreleased track What's the track called uh, Look at you Look at you yeah, Are you yeah. gonna drop it Anytime soon after this uh, We actually gonna add it To this upcoming project Okay Hell yeah, yeah bro So we're gonna get that On the project That's coming up right now um, Look at you we're going to do it here in the studio. It's unreleased. Let's get to that. We got Young Kano in the studio right now. He's about to perform an unreleased track called Look At You. It's off his new project that's dropping very soon. We got the we got Young Kano in here right now. You know what it is. Let's go. So. I'm feeling this beat already, bro. Straight from Massachusetts, Young Kano. We're at Matty Eye Studios. This is an unreleased track. Look at you. Look at you, look at me, a nigga ballin', nigga spaz on the beat. I just be walkin', hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin'. Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin'. Look at you, look at me, a nigga ballin', nigga spaz on the beat. I just be walkin', hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin'. Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin'. Look at you, look at me, a nigga ballin', nigga spaz on the beat. I just be walkin', hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin'. Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin'. Look at you. 
Look at me, a nigga ballin', nigga spaz On the beat, I just be walkin' Hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin' Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin' Y'all call me up, on the phone, I never answer You and you, she a star, said she a dancer Shorty grab all of my, said she a eater Shorty out here coming alone, swear she a cheater Tell me just to pick up the phone and tell me how she feel She kinda feel a little alone, she tryna get a thrill Smell up on a Dolce Cologne, she start to get a feel Got about 20k on my body, I'm him, just know the deal I'm a boss, swear every nigga around me is getting paid If I take a loss, I'ma face a ticket in every way Smart young nigga, the older niggas getting the main Ain't even hit 21, can't complain, the life I live is great Look at you, look at me, a nigga ballin' Nigga spaz on the beat, I just be walkin' Hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin' Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin' Look at you, look at me, a nigga ballin' Nigga spaz on the beat, I just be walkin' Hundred bands, hundred grand, a nigga flossin' Y'all pillow talk, all these hoes, y'all just be talkin' This shit's hard. Oh, yeah. It's on release too? Yeah. I saw that project that's coming. So. That's Young Cano. That shit is hard, bro. Appreciate Damn, you. okay. Look at you, bro. That shit is <laughs> hard, bro. That's an unreleased track that's dropping off Young Cano's project that's gonna come in the next month or so. so. Hopefully this year, bro. You know. We shooting for it. We got like 50 days left, bro. Yeah. We want this before New Year's. We want this track at least before New Year's, bro. Yeah, we're gonna see what's good. But if yeah. not, they can stream it right here in the show, right on YouTube, on the Matty Ice show. Um, we brought Young Cano into the studio. In case they forgot, bro, where are they following you, bro? Where can they stream your music, bro? No, everywhere on the Young Cano. Instagram, YCVNO. Okay, you know where to find him, bro. If you're an artist, tap in with him, DM him. Um, shout out Q to Plug for making this happen. So. And like I said again, bro, if you guys are promoters out there and you're looking to book um, an artist that's on the come up right now, I highly suggest you tap in with Young Kano. If you're an artist, I highly suggest you tap in with Young Kano. You just heard the music. It's fire. I ain't stamping it if I didn't think it's fire. That track, Look At You, is going to be out on the project that's dropping in a month or so. You guys know where to find him. You know where to stream his music. Look for projects to drop. We did it again. Let's go.